Last fall, Lyft cut rates in just over a dozen markets. Now, nearly a year later, they're finally rectifying that mistake. But is it too late? So when these cuts happened last fall, we talked about them. We did a video, we did an article. They cut the per mile rate here in Minneapolis by nearly 50% and made similar rate changes in just over a dozen medium to large sized markets. And their justification for these rate cuts was that they were gonna pay us from the moment that we accepted a ride. So as soon as we accepted a ride, when we were en route to a passenger, we were going to be getting paid. And per my discussions with a few people from Lyft Corporate, their goal of these rate changes was to better compensate drivers for all of their time. They were also trying to incentivize drivers to accept all rides, but slashing my per mile rate by, by nearly 50% is not going to incentivize me to accept the faraway pickups. I honestly have no idea what data they were looking at. I intuitively knew that this was going to be a pay cut, but I decided to give the new rates a try for a week, um, and I also tracked my earnings in a spreadsheet comparing the new rates versus the old rates to see what the difference would be. And during the week, my earnings were down 5% overall and 25% on rides that were 10 plus miles long, a really terrible experience. And it would have been worse, but Lyft still had those 30 plus and 45 plus uh, minute ride alerts. If the ride is longer than 30 or 45 minutes, they'll alert you in the app. I immediately declined those because I knew Lyft would eat my lunch on those rides. After that, I quit driving for Lyft Cold Turkey. The following week, I began exclusively driving for Uber and have not given a single Lyft ride since. I can imagine a lot of quality drivers have made the same decision. And again, last fall, around the time of the rate cuts, we published a video and an article. And that video actually was really popular. It gained about 25,000 views within just a few days. And Lyft actually ended up catching wind of it. They contacted me personally to talk about the rate changes. In my discussions with them, I just reiterated what I said in the video. They could have just watched the video. They didn't need to talk with me, but I reiterated that. I also conveyed to them that this was essentially a rate cut and that's how drivers were looking at it. Um, they were receptive to my feedback, but no action was taken. A few months later, I was contacted again by someone within Lyft Corporate. Um, they were with the driver experience team. I explained to that person why I stopped driving for Lyft and that they would have to do something substantial to regain me as a driver again. Again, that person was receptive, but no action was taken. All right, so finally, almost a year later now, Lyft sends a communication on June 22nd saying that the rates are going to be changed back. In the email, they say last August, we introduced a new rate card that paid for time and distance towards a passenger. We learned that many drivers prefer to earn on the original rates. We heard you, so we're bringing back the way you used to earn. Yeah, you've heard us, Lyft. It's almost a year later. Ridiculous. So pay after accept is now completely gone. Drivers will only be getting paid when a passenger is actually in the vehicle, like all the other markets in the United States. And here's a look at my updated rate card. So my per minute, which never changed, is still at 20.8 cents per minute. And my per mile, which was 35 cents under the pay after accept model, has almost doubled to 68 cents under this model. Another change you'll see here is cancel minimum. So Lyft is changing the cancellation pay, which previously Lyft would always pay $5 for every single cancellation. Now they're paying drivers, they're gonna compensate drivers for time and distance spent driving towards a passenger before a cancellation is made. So say I personally drive three miles in five minutes, I'll get paid $3.08 for that cancellation, not the automatic $5 that I used to get paid in the past. And I could see Lyft rolling out this cancellation policy in all markets actually. And I could also see Uber implementing a similar cancellation compensation model. All right, and these rate changes will take effect in the following 14 pay after accept uh, markets, and they will be in effect tomorrow, June 29th. Uh, Austin, Boise, Charlotte, Nashville, Honolulu, Kauai, Lake Havasu City, Las Vegas, Madison, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Phoenix, Raleigh, Durham, and Roswell. So as far as my overall thoughts, again, almost a year later lift, I guarantee you've gotten similar feedback to the feedback that I gave them right away, immediately after these rate changes were made. It was ridiculous that they played with the rates in the first place. They probably lost a lot of quality drivers, but they obviously didn't lose enough quality drivers to warrant making this change sooner. I personally am gonna continue to drive exclusively for Uber. I've found that their system is more efficient and also Uber Pro, their driver rewards program is just better. I'm glad that Lyft made this change, but they need to do a lot more to get me back. They need to realize that you can't just screw with the rates like this, then change it back like nothing happened and drivers will just come back to you. And I'm not exactly sure what Lyft could do to get me to return as a driver. Um, I have been pissed at them ever since they made those changes. One major suggestion, don't ever f with the rates like this again without consulting drivers first. Another thing would be to acknowledge that what they did was really poorly planned. And I know that's probably a pipe dream to expect that type of contrition, but acting like it never happened is not going to endear them to me. Before the rate cuts happened last fall, I had been driving exclusively for Lyft for three years and had just recently completed my 10,000th ride for them. Then they decided to mess with my money and I'm still not over it. 
But what about all of you? Um, for those of you that were in the affected markets that the rate cuts happened, is this enough of a change to bring you back? Or are you more like me and you're really upset with Lyft and this is like, this is way too little too late. Um, leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe.